silence from Montecito after Queen's Jubilee message approvals Camilla with future royal role. In an announcement to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Her Majesty spoke of her sincere wish that when the time comes, the Duchess of Cornwall will be known as Queen Consort, not Princess Consort, as announced on her marriage to the Prince of Wales. But while a poll with the first test of public opinion showed enthusiastic support for the idea of Queen Camilla, the reaction of the two princes, who had no vote that long ago night, has been sharply different. William was said to be supportive of the move and respectful of the logic behind his grandmother's decision. From Harry, there was, initially, not a public word. Then, when he did break his silence four days later from California, there was no mention of his stepmother, or the proposed change to her status. Instead, he paid a lavish tribute to Diana, praising her work on AIDS and HIV and explaining that he felt an obligation to continue his late mother's efforts to remove the stigma surrounding the virus. Pointedly, he said, I could never fill her shoes. He might just as well have added, and nor could anyone else. The danger for Harry is that this absence of any warmth towards the woman whom he once averred was not a wicked stepmother could be seen as a snub. So was it calculated? And if so, why, when it was Camilla who was among the very first members of the royal family to offer the hand of friendship to Meghan? The answer is complex, rooted in William and Harry's lives in the years immediately after Diana's death. They were at first unwilling or unable to defend their mother's reputation and she was in danger of being airbrushed from history. The transition from having two loving parents to just one affected the boys in different ways. But in their attitude towards Camilla there was a more unified view. Eight years after that nervous question, who's Camilla? Harry was in no doubt. During an interview to mark his 21st birthday in September 2005, he said he and William loved her to bits. He went on, she's a wonderful woman and she's made our father very, very happy, which is the most important thing. Warming to his theme, he added, look at the position she's come into. Don't always feel sorry for me and William, feel sorry for her. We are grateful for her, we're very happy to have her around. Should there have been any lingering doubts about the brothers' feelings for the Duchess, who had married their father five months earlier, Harry emphasized, to be honest, she's always been very close to me and William. But no, she's not the wicked stepmother, I'll say that right now. More than sixteen years later, it is hard to relate those kind and fulsome words to the peevish absence of any acknowledgement of the proposed change to Camilla's royal rank, which will mean so much to his father's future happiness. Last week, in a speech to mark the beginning of her seventeenth year on the throne, the Queen stated she wishes Camilla to be known as Queen Consort when Prince Charles becomes King. It was previously thought Camilla would take on the title of Princess Consort due to the controversy surrounding Charles and Camilla's affair and out of respect for the late Princess Diana. However, with the role of Queen now on the horizon, what lies in store for Camilla in the coming years? Astrologer Debbie Frank predicts 2026 will be a defining transformative year for Charles and Camilla. She said, 2023 is high profile for Camilla's role yet it is 2026 that is the defining transformative year for her and Charles. As Queen Consort, Camilla will continue to play a supporting role to her husband as this celestial signature is stamped into her birth chart. She is naturally a power behind the throne even though she will be entitled to sit on one. Ms. Frank also went on to claim what kind of Queen Consort Camilla will be. She said, she has a serious, formal and regal side to her, yet in private she is open and warm. When she takes up her top position, this contrast in her life will become markedly obvious.